when you have a visitor that you haven't seen for, you know, four or five years in real life, you tend to put off the daily cooking show until very late at night. So let's make some brownies, but we're gonna do brownies like with a fun twist. So I'm using this Annie's, right? You can use any kind of box brownie mix. I'm just following the directions on the package. Now, I recently read about how you can make your box brownies better by adding uh, melted butter instead of doing the oil that it usually asks for. And what was great about Annie's, not sponsored, but doesn't that look good? And they have like fun like word scrambles. I, I do love that. What they already say on the back of the package is to add the melted butter. So thank you, Annie's. That is a fun, fun surprise. These are chunky. They've got chunks of chocolate in this, but Donovan has also sacrificed one of his Halloween candies. Did anybody else do a full size this Halloween? Because he got a lot of full size. We did some full size, but we only had, oh my gosh, five trick-or-treaters. Five. Five. The whole day. Well, six if you count Donovan. Okay, let's see. Just breaking up these into very large pieces. I, I like a good surprise. I buttered my, this is real time. It's a minute and 37 seconds. I buttered my pan and I'm just gonna pour this in. Oh, oh. There was some dry mix on the bottom. We're gonna do these brownies with a twist. So I saw this, I don't know, in some picture and it looked beautiful. I think they were actually homemade brownies when they did it. And that's just not in the cards today, friends. We get box mix and that is 100% okay. So they had their box mix, right? Do, 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 do it like this. And then just, this is real time. And so you can see it doesn't take long to do this. And I'm gonna use peanut butter, but it's actually not peanut butter. My friend Ann told me to get this nutso at Costco. It has like every nut and seed you could ever want. And I'm just going to go like this and go like this. And then I'm just gonna like swirl it. I could stop here and be so happy. I'm a brownie batter fiend, I love it. Okay, is that good? need some over there. Good. Okay. Three minutes. Put this in the oven. See you in a few. One more thing. I found this like lint chocolate truffle left over from Halloween. I'm going to just stick this somewhere in the brownies and it will be like a fun surprise. It's snickerdoodle flavored. This is the hardest part. We have to just let them cool. Isn't this real pretty? That's my fun surprise. Oh, it's hot. Now, if I take a bite of this, is it going to give me heartburn and I'm not going to be able to sleep? You know what? For you, I will chance it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Next time, give yourself a swirl on your box mix. Make it fancy.